I know that's not proper, but I think I've told the story before, but we had a little neighbor who anytime she came to see us, she would always say, hey, what are we doing? So anyway, that's a running joke in this household. I've got sweat all over me. I'm cutting more sticks to make this trellis for the tomatoes because I've gotten a little taller. Anyway, whoo.
yeah, I was getting ready to saw them logs, or saw those logs, and Matthew drives up. You remember him. He helped me put the metal up on top of the roof there. And I guess I didn't have these handrails up, and I didn't have that cabinet made back there. And he goes, I like your handrails. I'm like, okay. But I forgot. It's been a day or two since he's been here, so he hasn't seen them. You were going to bush hog today, but it was too wet? It's too wet this morning, so I'm, it's starting to dry up a little bit. I might give it another hour or two and go over and get on. You know, uh, I heard that one of your neighbors, he's a farmer. I guess I don't know if you know his his wife is getting dementia or something like that, but I heard uh, that she got lost. Did yeah. he ever find her? Yeah. How would he find her? He tracked her down. <laughs> <laughs> oh me! Oh Lord! Yeah, he tracked her down. <laughs> well. That was his joke. That was a good joke. Well, I let him tell it. I just was going to kind of, you know, juice it up a little bit. <laughs> Do you hear that people in Dubai don't like the Flintstones? No. It's true, but the people in Abu Dhabi do. Leave us room to put one more. probably need them. Here, I got them.
guys, I wasn't a lot of help today. <laughs> yeah, she was. She did uh, some of the filming for me, and she held some of the logs because they were longer than my sawhorse, and sometimes it would want to tip if I was out there on the end. Then she entertained Matthew when he came up here uh, when I was still working while he was here, and he had to leave um, and go, like I said, bush hog. But, you know, it's always nice to have an extra hand. She's been mixing these up for me, bringing them to me, because I'll tell you what, I probably lost uh, two liters, at least, um, up here. You can see that quite a few of the tomatoes that we got, you know, and I've been eating them every time I come up here. They're just uh, producing really well. But the peppers, I mean, they keep turning out. She's made lots of salsa out of the peppers, so just that small little garden. I've done a lot of eating off of it. I'm actually going to put another one up top and then uh, another one out here to the side. I don't know if I've got enough room up to where this mountain or this rhododendron bush is to get another one in there, but um, I'm going to have uh, two if not three more of those so that I'll be able to get quite a bit. But I thought I would take a break. Jennifer's got to leave. She wanted to say goodbye and uh, I'll tell you what. I don't know how many breaks I've had today, but they've been um, well, well deserved. Anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye and that I will see you all again soon and I hope that I will be of more help next time.
since the posts are crooked, you kind of got to go by the center of the post. Well, now maybe you can get a little bit better perspective of what I was talking about. This right here, I'll have a little walkway that kind of turns and goes that way. Probably what I'm going to do is line the walkway with a couple of posts not quite this big and then put gravel in between them and uh, that should last a long time if I burn them. Um, and maybe make it about two feet wide so I'll have to have about 20 feet of it but this is going to be the beginning of uh, the bridge this will be the handrail starting about here and the bridge is going to arch over and come down right here so it's not going to be a big arch um, but then here's the other two posts of the handrail because the deck will be up, or the walkway will be up probably about this high and it will arch and go over. And this will give me a place to begin and land my handrail. Then from here to about probably right here, there will be just a flat portion. That way when I open the door, it's not going to drag. And then from here back to there will be the compost toilet. So. Altogether, this is probably uh, 18 feet, 16 to 18 feet from that post to the front. Uh, but it should be cute when I get it done. 
I think what I'm going to do is um, make my own shakes and put on the outside. Um, instead of using boards, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do boards on the walls and then do shakes for the roof. We'll just have to see. Um, but it's going to be kind of a, a Japanese bridge to a Hobbit style toilet. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on getting these uh, posts set um, when they actually do set up. Um, I'm going to come through here and I'll cut the handrail off and then I'll cut the two short uh, posts back there off and I'll get my beams up there. I'll get them notched into these posts and get them set and I'll begin to work on the arched bridge and the arched handrail and then we'll get busy building the compost toilet. Anyway, we really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with us and supporting our channel. We can't thank you enough. Much love to you all. So we just want to wish everyone a great afternoon. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here again next time.